Alright, I am trying a new recording software and it's gonna be a little late, so yeah. Before I get started, I'm gonna say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Donai King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you see the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bless you favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Mark 6, 14 through 29. And then there's going to be another one after this. Uh, King Herod heard of it. For Yeshua, Yeshua's name had become known. Some said John the Baptist has been ridden, risen from the dead. That is why the miraculous powers are at work in him. But others said, He is Elijah. And others said, He is a prophet, like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For it was Herod who sent and seized him and bound him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because he had married her. For John had been saying to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to put him to death, but she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing he was a righteous and holy man, and he kept him safe. When he heard of him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he heard him gladly. But an opportunity came when Herod on his birthday gave a banquet for the nobles and the military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. And when Herodias' daughter came in and danced, she had pleased Herod and his guests, and the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I'll give it to you. And he vowed to her, Whatever you ask me, I'll give you up to half of my kingdom. And she went out and said to her mother, For what should I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in immediately with haste to the king and asked, saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. And the king was exceedingly sorry. But because of his oath and his guests, he did not want to break his vow to her. And immediately the king sent an executioner with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, and brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. And the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. 2 Corinthians 9.1-15 Now it is superfluous for me to write to you about the ministry for the saints. For I know you, your readiness, of which I boast about you, the people of Macedonia, saying that Archiae has been ready since last year, and your zeal has stirred up most of them. But I am sending the brothers, so that our boasting about you may not prove empty in this matter, so that you may be ready, as I said you would be. Otherwise, if some Macedonians can come with me and find out that you are not ready, we would be humiliated to say nothing of you for being so confident. So I thought it necessary to urge the brothers to go on ahead to you and arrange in advance for the gift you have promised, so that it may be ready as a willing gift, not as an exaction. The point is, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one of us must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for Elohim loves a cheerful giver, and Elohim is able to make all grace around you, abound you to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may bound in every good work, as it is written, he has distributed freely and he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for the food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness, and you will be enriched in every way, to be generous in every way. With through us will produce which through us will produce thanksgiving to Elohim for the ministry of this service is not only supplying the needs of the saints, but also overflowing in many thanksgivings to Elohim. By their approval of the service they will glorify Elohim because of your submission. That comes from your confession of the gospel of Hamashiach. 
and the generosity of your contribution for them and for all others. While they long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of Elohim upon you, thanks be to Elohim for his inexpressible gift. Blessed art thou, Donai Lehi, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah and set everlasting life in our midst. Sorry, the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donai, giver the Torah, Brukata, Donai Lehi, Malak, Halo, Mashanata, Lunu, Tereti, Met, Vaishi, Elom, Nata, Beta, Kenyu, Brukata, Brukata, Donai, Natin, Ha, Torah. So this is going to be B A space four. So. All right, as we wait for that to save, I don't know what it is doing. What are you doing?